Hello! So this video is to talk about how to perform a variability chart. For me, one of the best ways to analyze practical data. So you have those data points that you collected during some days or the data that you got in your system and you have no idea how to start analysis, I would recommend you to run a variability chart. Let's see why. And let's see how to perform this. So here I have a, a small data table. It's about 36 data points about diameter that we measured in some parts in different days, in different shifts and different machines. So one thing that is very important here before starting the analysis is to organize the data. So we have to separate, we have to let, uh, to be clear here, mainly for a jump, what is our response variable, what is continuous data, and what is nominal or ordinal data. So for example here, we have this day shift machine and part being nominal data. So I just changed here you can see some details uh, in our video about how to organize the data table. And, but here, this is very important, mainly if you will perform a various components analysis. Okay, let's go there. Where is the variability chart hidden, right? We have here, analyze quality and process so this quality and process is very, very used, is very important for those who are uh, uh, dealing with the problem solving situation because the main, the main tools that we need to solve a problem, to analyze the data that came from the process is here. Control chart, uh, process capability, measurement system analysis, Pareto, diagrams, and the variability chart. Just a few people that I know, uh, know the, the, what is variability chart and why to do this. So let's do it. Variability. When I click here, jump has these spaces and the main one is our response, our Y. So I know that my Y is the diameter that I measured. And what is the main sources of variation? So this is required. I, I cannot perform an analysis without uh, a column here. So I will put everything that I have, all the information about those diameters, about those 36 parts, they are here. So I have a chart type variability. There, there's another type here, attribute. I will talk about it uh, in the Kappa video, the measurement system for attributes here in, in this attribute. But here I'm talking about variability chart, a simple variability chart to understand our process. So I will click in OK and I have my variability chart. If you pay attention here, uh, when I select some data points here, the points that were selected, they are being selected, they are being uh, light, highlighted in the data table. As I click, they are being highlighted there in the data table. So this is our variability chart. This is very simple, this is very important every single information that we had during your uh, data collection uh, it's here we have the diameter we have the 36 points and you you can know from where each point came for example this point this is the row 25 the part 25 uh, is the machine one, the shift one, and the day three. So how is the variation between 
days between shifts between machines and between parts we can see it here in this variability there are some customization that we can perform here i will show one of them for you so connect cell means the moment that i connect cell means i have these blue lines these blue lines help us to understand if we have some uh, systematic effect or a trend or some leverage point some special causes so we are seeing here that there's a lot of variation between parts more than machine for example more than shifts more than days uh, so this is very important for the people that are trying to understand the process if i change here I can change the, the, the size of the graph. So remember that to save this, I can just uh, edit copy picture and with the right bottom here, edit copy picture. And if I copy this picture the way it is now, I will have this exactly this picture there. So this is how we perform the variability chart this is very simple to understand if i wanna run this for example uh, i i want a variability for each day so i can just go there again analyze quality and process variability or i can click here on this right uh, red bottom and sorry here the, the first one redo relaunch analysis so i go there in the launch analysis and i can for example put day here at this buy option so the moment that i put day here i will run a, vari a variability chart about our diameter uh, the x are shift machine and part but I will run a, val a variability for each level that I have inside of this column called day. The moment that I click here, OK, I have three different variabilities. One for the day one, day two, and another one for the day three. So now they are separated. We can perform some analysis here. We can connect the cell means we can run a lot of different things that I will show you in the video call that I will call how to customize the variability chart. Hope you are enjoyed this video and like it. And if you have any different situation, and I, I ask you to comment below. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.